In this video, we are going to learn about sine, cosine, and tangent. These are the three trigonometric ratios, and they work for right triangles. So we're going to be focusing on right triangles here. So if you have a right triangle, and we label the sides and angles ABC, and the side across from A is lowercase a, and the side across from angle B is lowercase b and lowercase c. Then from each angle, A or B, there are three ratios that exist, and those are sine, cosine, and tangent. So if we think about sine of angle A, it will equal A over C. If we think about cosine of angle A, it will equal B over C. And the last ratio is tangent, which you write as tan of angle A, would equal A over B. So if you look at these three different ratios, we've accounted for all the different combinations of A, B, and C. This is how sine, cosine, and tangent work. In general, sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. So what that means is, like here we were talking about angle A, so for angle A, the side opposite from angle A is A, the hypotenuse is C, and the third side of this triangle is called the adjacent side, and that word adjacent means next to, so it's called the adjacent side because it's next to angle A. So sine is always opposite over hypotenuse from the given angle. Cosine is always adjacent over hypotenuse. So you can see why cosine for angle A was B, which is the adjacent side, over C, which is the hypotenuse. Finally, tangent is always opposite, which was A in this case, over adjacent. So this can be a lot to remember. So there's a mnemonic to help you remember all these formulas, which is this sort of word, SOKOTOA. And if you look at it carefully, you'll see we have S, that's for sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So we have O, H. And then we have cosine, C, is adjacent over hypotenuse, so A, H. And then tan, T, is opposite over adjacent, OA. So for any right triangle, you can always figure out these three ratios from any of the non-right angles. So we could have done the three ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent, for angle B as opposed to angle A. And if we had done that, we would have had the sine of angle B so now from angle B, B is the opposite side, A is the adjacent side, and C is still the hypotenuse. So the sine of angle B is B over C because that's opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of angle B, so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's A over C. And finally, tan or tangent of angle B is opposite over adjacent, so that'd be B over A. So the important thing for you to remember right now is SOKOTOA, and that's so that you can remember all the different ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent.